one, two, three, hook it, and then spread your legs. No, I'm not going down with you. Here. Why? Because this will come up. That makes sense? Sure. So when you do this on this one here, you I gotta come in here, hold on to him, and break the arm when he comes down. Mm. Lay right on him. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So you need to be able to do it fast. If you're gonna if you're gonna use the technique, don't follow it. You believe me, most people here, get rid of him. Don't go throwing him and stepping here. You, you can't step to the right, you can't step to the left, basically. It's just about impossible with that throw. You gotta step back. This guy's gonna land on concrete, he's not getting back up again. But, if I wanna follow him, and I don't trust him, and I wanna maintain control, I can do this. Here, I break the arm, here, boom. I come in here, fold this up. I can step up, bump it in here, step, step, and then what do I have here? Bring your feet up, that's it. Got that? Sure. So you can do it that way. I'm going to add one more technique that you guys did last time. Watch. Right house punch. In and drop. And then he pulls this up. I'm coming up with it. In lock. Got that? Yes, sir. You guys that can't go to the ground, don't. Of course, I have all this. And if I wanted to, I can slip by this guy. And let's say he pushed my foot over his head. I gotta keep this. Pull it over. So what I gotta do. You alright? Got it? So, one more time fast. Right house punch. Inch. Drive it in, pull it up. In. Lock. Break it. Push the foot over the head. I come over. Hit. I come around. Break. Got it? Go.